Yup, 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 yup. Hey, kids. It's time for another super exciting episode of the Robotnik is Sexist Show. I fucking bumped the thing. Uh, this is good enough, though. I oh, wait, hold on. Let me get this over here. Uh, eh, fuck, I fucked this up. Anyway, I had a bunch of really nice Wi-Fi battles recently, so I'm gonna be happy to, uh, be bringing them to you. Alright, I guess this is pretty good. First one is against Terry. Now, this is a passerby! A passerby person who has a tapu lele, has a Volcarona, Dragonite, Dusclops. This guy has the big kahunas. He's got Eviolite Dusclops. Who knows what this guy's doing? Like, he has a very cool team, and uh, I'm using my Sandroom team that you all may have become acquaint acquainted with uh, by now. And we both have Pikachu shirts, and we both have the V-Victory, uh, so we have a lot in common so far. We both have Heat teams, as they say. As they say! As Joey might say, or whoever. Uh, so Dusclops is in. Um... This is quite good. Um, well, it isn't that bad. Uh, I had led with my Intimidator, uh, kind of afraid of a different lead, but he does go uh, Dusclops. Um, and I do predict a Will-O-Wisp or something, and I'm, I, uh, I'm just going to go into Tyranitar. He shows me Infestation, which I think is uh, one of my favorite moves. It's the most accurate trapping move in the game. Most trapping moves have like 80% accuracy, like uh, like Whirlpool, for example, or Fire Spin, or something like that. Um, but uh, Infestation is 100%, so it never misses, and uh, its its damage is based on like percent damage. So it, it's very very consistent, and it's really really powerful when you combine it with Poison, as you might know. Because I have a, a different OU standard team that I use with uh, Toxic and Infestation. Um, so this guy is using that strategy, which is super awesome. Um, also, I finally put an item on Tyranitar that we're going to actually see in a, in a replay here. Uh, so that's, that is also exciting. Dinosaur is going to get whittled down turn by turn by the Infestation and Poison, which I think is super OP. And... Um, I think it's really fun too, probably because I'm an asshole. So I'm going to try to freeze with Dusclops, but I don't get it. I don't get it. And he's just going to go Infestation again. Uh, but something magical is about to happen, everybody. Something super magical. I'm going to munch that Wiki Berry on 16 HP, my favorite number. We're going to go all the way up to 119. We're looking good to, to launch another Ice Beam here, maybe get a freeze. Uh, Dinosaur has already got up the rocks, so I'm pretty good. Yes, we get that freeze that Dusclops is frozen solid. Uh, so that wiki berry gave me the freeze. That is pretty cool. Um, like, that's literally what happened, right? Like, the wiki berry allowed me to survive long enough to roll for the freeze a second time, and I got it. I got the 10%. Uh, I'm just going to stay in, in um, pursuit just in case he thaws or something, like immediately. Uh, and also to be fodder, so. Um, I'm going to go into Iris here. Um, just, to, just to get this thing to Mega Evolve. Um, because uh, Mega Mawile does have some added bulk. And that can come in handy. That can come in handy. It can uh, very much come in handy, as we're going to see in a minute. Uh, I will miss my Intimidate ability, but uh, having double attack stead is also, you know, that's pretty groovy, too. Uh, so we're going to get that 100% accurate Iron Head, just take out the old Dusclops. And now that opens a window, as Joey would say, to Volcarona. Uh, it's a switch in. Uh, my opponent sends out Volcarona. So I'm going to make the bonehead play of Sucker Punching on this man's Substitute. A little round of, round of applause for my passerby opponent, uh, uh, making me eat mud there. Uh, so that is a huge loss of momentum. But 
Iris is thick bodied. That, that super ball while with that big ace. Uh, we, we take the hit and we survive long enough to break that substitute, which is super important and nice, so I don't get swept by Volcarona. So, um, I'm sure that it was a crazy roll in my favor. I only have 5 HP. Uh, all I can say is I'm glad. So, now we're going to swap into uh, Marsqui, the Gastrodon, or I guess just Gastrodon. It did lose its nickname uh, when uh, being traded from Generations because it had a uh, smiley face on its name, and um, that was like a different alphabet set, so that smiley face is no longer in the game, so it literally just dropped its nickname. But anyway, uh, thankfully this Scald is going to do enough damage to break a plus one special defense uh, substitute on Volcarona. And now I'm just going to have to eat a Bug Buzz or something. He hasn't shown Giga Drain, so I'm really, really glad that this Volcarona does not carry the Giga Drain, otherwise um, the match would probably be over instantly. Um, he's got a pretty threatening team uh, in general. So yeah, I do take the Bug Buzz. There's no way he had Bugsy since he's been munching leftovers the whole time. I think his whole team is shiny or something, uh, but it's really cool. Uh, we do take it out with a Scald, thankfully. Now Manaphy is here. Uh, Manaphy usually runs energy ball coverage, so um, I don't know. I, I I do I do think I am in the mood to fodder Gastrodon as he goes to tail glow, um, and I recover. So Gastrodon is going to pretty much live multiple lives this game uh, because I don't know. Like I, I definitely go recover on the tail glow, and it kind of works out me. Uh, kind of works out for me, but kind of also does not work out for me because tail glow gives you that plus three. And now, my opponent, my very cool opponent, who definitely deserves to win, by the way. Uh, <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm, I'm be I am being serious. Like, uh, if this Manaphy carries Ice Beam, this game is definitely over. Like, definitely over. Uh, so he got the, the boost, and now he's getting the, the plus one speed, which I hadn't really accounted for. Um... At first, I thought he might go Hydro Vortex, but then I actually did figure it out that it was the Rain Dance. So that is that's pretty icky for me. This is basically game over because of the speed boost Manaphy gets, and it's definitely uh, a higher number base speed than uh, Tapu Bulu. Yeah, even with the Choice Scarf, I'll be slower. But uh, thank you, Arceus. Uh, no Ice Beam on the set. <laughs> For some reason, this Manaphy has uh, Psychic, but yeah, if that Manaphy had like Ice Beam, like that, that was a wrap. That was a wrap. So um, I live by the skin of my Pokemon teeth, and uh, yeah, he's gonna toss out uh, Nihiligo, and of course we got Gastrodon, who definitely could have died multiple times already. But is still clinging on there, and not only that, I think Gastrodon is doing better than ever because my opponent got the rain up for me, and I have the grassy terrain, so I'm going to be getting uh, two leftover healings per turn, basically, as you can see right now, which is well, <laughs> it's good. It's a good thing. Um, so I see no reason for me not to set up on this <laughs> on my poor unwitting opponent yeah we're gonna get up a stockpile get plus one plus one defense in special defense uh nihiligo you you're gonna have a bad time you're just yeah it's not gonna be good for you uh sludge wave is here i am a uh ground type so that won't do too too much to me and thankfully, I don't get that 10% poison ever. Uh, we finish off Nihiligo with the Scald, and I just get another round of healing uh, with the leftovers in Grassy Terrain, which, by the way, yeah, it does feel good. There's a reason I have uh, Bulu and uh, a Sandstorm um, and Gastrodon on the same team for sure. Uh, Tapu Bulu, or not Bulu, Tapu Lele is here, the pink one. Um, 
This is rather hilarious, what you're about to uh, watch here. So, for some goddamn reason, my opponent's Tapu Lele has Energy Ball, when Energy Ball would be a lot more fitting on Manaphy, right? Uh, but he goes for the unstab uh, Energy Ball, and I live on 22 because of the plus one special defense uh, when I stockpiled a couple turns before, which allows me to connect the Toxic. So, yeah, Marasquee the Gastrodon is just putting the team on her back. They just, yeah, like, we took care of Volcarota, we, we took care, like, we're taking care of, like, half the team at least. Like, we're, we're pinning them down with this, like, Dragon Warrior, Monster Quest, Slug, Random Encounter, piece of shit Pokemon. Uh, do not underestimate it. Gastrodon, yeah. That's a kiss of death for you too, buddy. Like you could, you could go outrage if you want. I'm actually gonna recover in your face because of my uh, leftovers, and thanks to the plus one special or uh, special defense and defense. But just thanks to the stockpile, thanks to stockpile, uh, good things are happening to me. Uh, good, good things. So <laughs> we live on a smidgen again, and we are going to. Just, ah, uh, just rub it in. Get that recover. Get the leftovers. Mmm. It's so good. This is, <laughs> this is Pokemon Torture. Uh, so it's three on two. It's, uh, for some reason, I don't know why, my opponent is choking right now. Uh, just, uh, switching into Lele, which gives me a free recover. Like, my opponent did not need to do that. Again, I was trying to fatter, uh, fat, fodder. I was trying to allow Gastrodon to faint naturally so I would get in, you know, like Stack Attack or anybody. Like, I have some monsters left in the back. And, uh... <laughs> I was just trying to throw out Gastrodon, and it is not dying. It is not. So, yeah, we're gonna survive Energy Ball one more time just to spite Tapu Lele and get some much-needed damage with Scald. Uh, so yeah, this is, this is looking, uh, pretty tasty for me, if I do say. So yeah, we finally fought our Gastrodon successfully. It took us, it took us a while. It took us many turns to finally get this thing down. Uh, Tapu Lele is, uh, Tapu Dead Dead next turn, which, um, means that I can go for Trick Room while it dies, all in one, uh, motion, which is... Brilliant, of course, so energy ball is here. Was that thing choice the whole time? I don't really know. Uh, does Is that really specs damage? Yeah, we get up that trick room, that thing's dead. Yeah, and uh, that's pretty much a wrap, as Renaclis is definitely going to snipe this Dragonite with a Psyshock. And yeah, very, very fun and good game. Um, random passerby. Thank you for the battle, Terry. Thank you. Um, if you enjoyed the video, comment, like, subscribe. We're going to have a little bit more. I hope you did. Give me those saucy 30 views. Mm -hmm.